Hello, friends. Welcome to Turtle Power Presents the Power Playthroughs Podcast with Turtle Power. I'm your host, Turtle Power. This is the podcast where we play games in a powerful way. And uh, we're going to check out a game called Redemption Reapers. Um, I just I just got sent a code for this. It came out uh, a couple weeks ago on the Switch. Um, and it's, it's a uh, strategy tactics RPG um, from the team that made Ender Lilies, Quietus of the Night which is a Metroidvania that I never played, but I heard fairly good things about. Um, this one, I have not heard many good things about, so we're, we're going to check it out. Adjust brightness, I'm going to turn it up quite a bit, because I am recording in the uh, the mobile podcasting studio here, which does mean that there's a fair amount of glare. Um, this game saves automatically, I would expect. Most games do. All right, we see uh, a dark sky and there's snow. Presented by Binary Haze Interactive, it says on a black screen. We see uh, some trees and mountains and snow. Uh, some people sword fighting. Lots of people fighting. Somebody got their throat cut, I think. Oh man, she just stabbed a guy. She's got blood splattered on her face. She's got gray hair. Like dark gray hair. Oh man, I just realized I'm recording from the wrong microphone. Hang on. Hey, maybe that's better. Maybe it's worse, but it's the microphone I intend to be recording from, so that's something. Looked like there was a lot of people walking towards her as she was being uh, thoughtful there. Uh, load game, new game, theater, or settings. Let's check settings real quick. Audio. Oh, man. Master volume set to 50. We're just going to crank that right up to 100. Uh, display. We can change brightness. And game. Gauges. Subtitles are on. Message display speed is normal. Language is English. Voice language is English. Uh, we can also change it to Japanese, it looks like. And there's quite a few different text languages. Um, I'm going to put message display speed fast. All right, new game. Redemption Reapers. Ooh, dark, spooky farm, maybe. Maybe a church, maybe a farm. Hard to say. All right, looks like we're looking at uh, a wall. There's a cockroach crawling around on it. Oh man, buildings are on fire. This is not a good situation. Somebody's stumbling through and dropped a candle. Somebody else walks by and like snuffs out the candle. There are people in armor chasing a woman running away. They got, they got nasty teeth. This is all in a like cool CGI cutscene. These are like creepy orc creatures of some sort of something. She stumbles, she gets up, they catch her, blood flies into the air. Even with the brightness all the way up, or up to 75, it's still hard to see this. Uh, now we see an eye opening and closing of someone laying down. Looks like they're maybe knocked unconscious or something. They're seeing blurry images of a person getting slaughtered in the street and the whole town on fire. and these these orc creatures or whatever attacking people pushes a girl down to her knees slices her across the back of the neck another person down another person down these guys have like gray skin and pointy ears and they wear masks that cover the tops of their face and by masks I do mean helmets of some sort more blood flies in the air woman with dark hair lays on the ground she turns as someone stands over her. It's one of those creatures. He looks at her and snarls. Her eyes are barely open, and they close, and the screen fades to black. And then feet walking away, and we see her hand outstretched as the creatures walk away from her, and the fires fade away into black. That was cool. That was a pretty cool cutscene. More feet. This game's obsessed with showing pictures of feet walking. Man and a woman looks like, walking through the woods. 
I need to turn the brightness way up on this. This is like impossible to see. We're too late. The village will fall. I won't give up. Not yet. If even a single person survived, I have to get them to safety. Not alone, you don't. The Mort always attack in packs, which means the village is likely swarming with them now. The Mort. M-O-R-T. We don't stand a chance against those numbers if we engage them in honorable combat. But we're the Ashen Hawk Brigade, and we'll do this our way. The Ashen Hawk Brigade. Burn away your fear. Survive among the ashes. Let's move. So this is some guy with a big sword with a giant uh, cross guard. And then the girl from the opening cutscene with the, the dark gray hair. As soon as I get to where I can pause, I'm turning this brightness way up. Chapter 1, Wings of Salvation. I just started playing Tiny Metal again, which is in the Advance Wars vein of strategy games. I think this is going to be more in the Fire Emblem vein. Uh, but man, Tiny Metal's good. Player phase. It said the name of the mission. I didn't pay attention to it. Uh, moving. Use left stick to move select a unit. This action can be repeated as long as there are moves remaining. Left stick to move unit. Okay. Let's go to the menu and settings and display. And just turn that brightness all the way up. Don't know that it made much of a difference, but we did it. Okay. I'm going to turn the volume down now that I was talking. Okay, so this is Sarah. She's level one. You click on her, and you... Oh, you can just free move around, like in um, like in uh, Sparks of Hope. Instead of having to pick a square, you're actually moving the character around. And then when you click on... when, when It's it's very grid-based, so, so the edges of her movement are grid. And when you stop moving, it highlights what square you're in. Um, actions. Uh, defend. Defending will end the unit's action. Proceed. Yes. All right. Mid-battle info. Hover the cursor over an enemy unit and press A to display the enemy unit's action range. Okay. Is there an enemy to see? Oh, there are enemies up here. So, cool. You can press A on an enemy, it highlights their range, and then you can move the cursor at will again. That's that's a good... And then if you start moving in at your, one of your characters, it still hit, highlights the enemy's range. That's very good. Okay. Both of our characters are set to defend. When a unit attacks, allied units in range of the target can perform a follow-up attack. Ranged attacking units can perform follow-up attacks. Oh, cannot perform follow-up attacks. After the initial attack is over, order each allied unit to perform a follow-up attack by pressing B, A, Y, or X. Okay. So he's gonna, the enemy's gonna move forward. He can't quite get to us, though. Now it's our turn. Select a unit and press A to open the command for actions. Okay. Use unit skills such as to attack or defend. Actions consume AP. Units recover 7 AP at the start of each turn. Defend, assume a defensive stance, having damage. Okay. They can't counterattack if they're defending. So we're going to move up next to this boy, and we're going to go to actions, and we can do uh, twin fangs or defend. We're going to use our twin fangs. It tells us at the top the attack, accuracy, and critical chances of both me and the enemy. It estimates that I'm going to do... I think it's saying that... He's going to do 3 damage to me, and I'm going to do 5 damage to him. I did 3 damage to him. He did 2 damage to me. So I was not reading that correctly. Uh, oh, I can move again. So you can continue using your movement. That's kind of cool, but I don't think we need to. We're going to instead uh, defend. Yes. Okay, now we're going to move this guy up. His name is Glenn. He's level 2. He's got a long sword, and he's going to use Slashing Stance. Oh, yeah. Oh, he only did four damage. The guy's got one left. Oh, but I can have her attack. She can join him. Oh, that's cool. So it gives you a little timer uh, during which you can have somebody else, like, join in on the attack. All right. And action. Enemy face. Player face. Where's, where's my next enemy? Uh, spirit draw. Draft? Draft. Can uh, restore HP. Okay. They cannot be used up, but there's a limit to the number of times they can be used on the same map. Oh, cool. So I've got I've just got a healing move, basically, that I can use a few times. All right, let's check the range of these next two goobers. And cool, I can't actually move to into their range, so we'll just move right next to them. Oh, I should have had her heal, because she has taken a hit, but that's okay. All right, two goobers coming towards us. They can't quite hit us, though. Oh, one of them didn't even move. Uh, collect relics. Pick up relics discovered on the map. You can view the tutorials you've viewed so far anytime from the help menu. Okay, where, what's a relic on the map? 
Oh, there's a there's a there's a glowy thing over there. All right, all right. Well, uh, we're gonna go there and use your twin fangs. No, actually, I'm gonna. Yeah, we'll have her attack first. That's fine. Twin fangs. All right. Three damage. He attacks back. Oh, he missed. Cool. Uh, then I'm gonna have her move. No, I'm gonna switch. I can't switch once I've started moving her. Okay. Uh, okay. But I can't have her use a draft. Sweet. Okay. And then have her defend. Now have... Let's check what this guy's range is. Okay. He's going to be able to attack us next turn no matter where we go. So we'll go up here. We'll attack this guy. And then have her join the attack. Sweet. Took that guy out. And an action. Okay. This guy's going to come attack me. He did two damage. I did four damage back. Uh, Sarah is going to head over towards that relic. Um, maybe? Should she hit that? She can't get to the relic this turn, so I'm going to have her come hit this guy with ten fangs. Have this guy join in the attack for free. Yeah, killed that guy. Killed that mort. And then next turn she'll pick up the relic. And he's going to move forward towards the next guys and use a draft. Just make sure he's healed all the way up. And then he's going to use his defend action. So you get seven action points per turn, but like defending takes four action points. So uh, it's not like a one, one action is one point, which is kind of what I thought it was going to be. Collect relic! Unsent letter has been added to the archive. And I got a red veined stone sent to storage. Don't know what that means. All right. Attack this guy with slashing stance. Four damage. He does two damage back. Uh, units can increase their max AP by fulfilling certain requirements in battle up to a maximum of 13. AP that exceeds them will return to its original value when a map is cleared. All right. Um... Why don't you go collect that relic? Village Chief's Diary has been added to the archive, and I got a green vein stone sense of storage. And then we're gonna go back here and defend. Steal yourself. All right. Enemy phase. He attacks me, only does one damage because I was defending. Other guy attacks me, only does one damage because I was defending. Although, boy, uh, Glenn is getting low on health. Um, so we're going to go have her attack this guy and have Glenn join the attack to finish that one off. Then I'm going to have her move up next to the other guy and she's going to set to defend, but then he's going to attack that guy. No, he's going to do his, uh, oh, he can't use his healing anymore. Well, we're going to try and beat this guy and have her join the attack and hope that kills him. It didn't, so now he's gonna counterattack. Oh, he missed! Glenn's still alive, baby! And Glenn's gonna run away. And hopefully that guy will attack Sarah instead. Oh no, he's chasing Glenn! He hit Glenn! He killed Glenn! Oh man, Sarah's all on her own. Turn eight. Sarah, your buddy died. What are you gonna do about it? Get revenge is what we're gonna do. She got revenge. All right, this this moves pretty well. Uh, the visuals aren't like it's outstanding on Switch, but it's readable. Uh, Sarah leveled up, she gained two skill points. And uh, we triumphed over the level. Outcome, overall rating C. Uh, number of retreating allies is one. Was there another enemy somewhere? Oh, retreating allies. So no permadeath? Fantastic. That's the last of them, Glenn says. This is just still images of them talking, not a cool cutscene. Also, of course the jets fly over when I get to a cutscene, right? You saw what they did here. The only thing you'll find is more death. In any case, love should be in the village proper by now. Perhaps our luck will turn there. Okay.
Uh, loadout, page 105. After clearing each map, you will move to the loadout screen. There you can prepare for the next battle. Uh, you can choose storage, proceed to the next va battlefield. Battle prep uh, lets you use shared XP to level up units, use SP to unlock upgrade skills, change weapons, change accessories, and use enhancement items. The archive views text about characters' episodes, more to defeated, weapons, items, and relics. Save and load is self-explanatory. Uh, the game also auto-saves when you clear a map. Okay. Um, battle prep. Uh, spend shared XP to increase the unit's level. Spend SP to improve skills. Change weapons. We are, Yeah, you already told me all this. Okay. So, uh, we're gonna, uh, train, use shared XP, XP available 20, okay, and, excuse me, uh, Glenn needs 24 experience to level up, she needs a lot more than that, so we can't level them up, but we can go to skills, um, and we can either, uh, oh, we can't upgrade twin fangs, so active skills says twin fangs, but it's fully upgraded, but there's an ability called light foot, that boosts evasion by 5% and costs 2 SP, which is what she has. Glenn also has 2 SP, and he can get an ability called uh, Vigilance, take 80% damage from counterattacks. All right, or he can do Born Leader. A ally, ally participating in follow-up attack deals 110% damage. Yeah, that's what we wanna do. We're gonna have him attack first, and then that means her uh, uh, follow-up attacks will do more damage. Very cool, all right. Um, okay, equip or trade, nothing to do there. It looks like our gear does, does degrade, so her daggers are at 42 out of 50, his sword is at 43 out of 50. Uh, accessories, I don't have any accessories. Upgrade stats, I don't have anything I can do there. Uh, materials, there's our stones. Uh, so these are, these are upgrade materials, but we don't have anything to do with them yet, so we're gonna go to story. Advance to the next chapter, yes. Survive among the ashes, it says on the loading screen. Chapter two, Fading Hope. I do wish it was more colorful. I mean, it's, it's very gray so far and gloomy, which I uh, talked about this a lot with Eldoran, but, you know, a, a game doesn't actually have to be gray to be gloomy. Oh! Oh, man, there's somebody in a cool hat and duster uh, with a big spear. She's like, she's like... There's no end to these beasts. Or he. They're like a desperado, but with a spear. Wearing, wearing a bandana over their face and a big floppy cowboy hat. Looking around at the battlefield full of dead morts and also people. And then more shots of feet. More feet shots of, of our two characters Whoa. running in and saying hi to Luff. Took you long enough. I Luff rules. Well, are you going to kill something? Or just stand there admiring my work. I love this character so much. I will die to protect Luff. Alright, aspiration. Eliminate all enemies. So aspiration, that, that's our goal. <laughs> okay. Player phase, turn one. Uh, map features. Wow, let me turn the volume down now. Pay for this in blood. Uh, spirit vein. Touch a spirit vein on the map to restore that unit's HP. All consumed spirit drafts will be refilled. Oh. Spirit veins disappear when activated. Cool. And then there's chests. Open a chest to find its contents. Weapons are added to unit's inventory. Uh, all other items are sent to storage. Okay. All right. Uh, Luff, let's see what you can do. Uh, I'm going to go have you attack this person. Oh. So uh, my weapon's called the Rat Piercer. And it can actually be uh, used uh, as a ranged weapon, which means I can attack this level two wretch without taking any damage. Although I can also not do any damage because I did miss attacking them. All right, let's uh, have Sarah attack with her twin dagger ability. And then we'll have this guy follow up to help out. He does an extra three damage. The guy attacks back and misses, which is great. 
And then finally, we'll have Glenn come up. And, oh, Glenn can't actually attack this person from here. Glenn can't get close enough. Bummer. Uh, okay. All right, they're attacking Luff. They missed. Luff stabs back and does four damage, killing them dead. They attack Glenn and do two damage. Glenn attacks back for four. Uh, this this seems very competent. I'm surprised. Like when I when I did a quick uh, look around this morning, uh, when when I got the code in, it seemed like it got pretty um, unfavorable reviews. But but so far, I I do not have a lot to complain about. You can't zoom the map in or out. You can't rotate the map. I'm just realizing that. However, there is a pretty nice mini map up in the corner that shows you um, the whole range of the battlefield, as well as it looks like it marks all of the uh, enemy placements and uh, placements of relics and all that kind of stuff too. So that's that's actually, that's pretty good, you know? Um, attack this guy, follow up. That was cool, it gave me like a zoom in battle shot of him getting chopped down. I like that. Um, we'll wait there, move up. They're gonna defend. Okay, here they come. Uh, they attack Luff. He missed, they both missed, okay. Attacking Glenn. Glenn was defending, so it only did one damage. A couple more people moving forward. Um, okay, I'm gonna have Luff attack this guy with the Rat Piercer and have Glenn help him out. Again, very cool, like, cinematic zoom-in thing. I I think I like this game. I don't I don't dislike it so far. Um, we're going to attack that guy and have both of you help out. Can I have both of you help out or just one? Oh, well, one killed him. I, I don't know if you can have two people help out or just one. I'm not sure about that. Collect Relic, Village Chief's Diary 2. Got it. A greenstone vein, thank you. And we're going to end action there. And then you're going to attack this guy. Took him down. Aw, oh, sweet. Gun leveled up to level three. Two skill points, thank you. End action. Enemy phase. Here they come. Haha, <laughs> you missed me. Oh, that person didn't miss. Okay, Glenn's, Glenn's pretty low on health here. Uh, I need I need Glenn to take a big swift swig of draft here. Um, I, must finish this. I keep getting all the cool zoom in shots here when Glenn chops people's heads off, but maybe that's just because I am unintentionally having him be the head chopper offer. Um, okay. Uh, end action. Okay. Glenn, I want you... Now I'm going to have her come up and attack. And then Glenn can help finish him off. Okay. Sarah leveled up. Excellent. Uh, skill unlock, butterfly sting, deal 80% damage and evade the enemy's counterattack. Oh, okay, cool. So if you know you're not going to kill him anyway, use that, and that way you don't get hit back. Sweet. Um, we're going to defend. Glenn is going to go up here. He's going to use his draft. Then he's going to use slashing stance. And get an assist from Sarah. Aw, oh, didn't quite defeat this guy, though. He's still got, like, one health. Bummer. All right, enemy phase. Luff finishes that guy off. And Luff levels up to level three as well. Um, and now a big guy comes and attacks Glenn. Whoa, and does four damage right away. That's, that's a lot in this game. I think Glenn's max health is seven. Uh, all right. There's a relic over here. I really want to get it. So, uh, that's what Luff's going to go do. Um, Sarah's going to attack this guy with Butterfly Sting. And have Glenn help her out. 
It's still not quite dead, but Sarah automatically dodges the counterattack because of Butterfly Sting, which is great. Now Glenn can finish this guy off. Sweet. Go collect that relic. Child's Diary has been added to the archive. And Glenn can defend. Yes. Oh man, this guy's gonna attack Glenn. He missed though, haha. -ha. All right. Uh, let's first have Luff pick up this relic. Collect relics, Village Chief's Diary three. Black Vein Stone, thank you. Uh, there's some chest to gather up here. So there's there's stuff to do still is my point. Um, so we're we're not gonna we're not gonna kill this guy yet. We're gonna go uh, collect some chests and relics and stuff. So Glenn's gonna get attacked by this guy again. Glenn, ah, he dodged it again though. Good job, Glenn. Uh, collect a relic. Last words have been added to the archive. Got a blue vein stone. And then Sarah's heading for a chest. It's not quite there yet. Um, Luff is gonna attack this guy from one square away so he avoids taking damage. We're not going to have Glenn follow up, because again, we don't actually want to kill this guy yet. Instead, we're going to have Glenn go and touch the vein. Heals himself. Now the enemy can come and attack Glenn again. That's fine. Did four damage. Glenn attacks back for four damage. He's almost dead, but he survived just long enough for Sarah to come and open this chest. And inside we found a CX. CX? S-E-A-X. Looks like a, a knife of some sort. And action. And now, Luff, my friend, go ahead and use Rap Piercer to finish this guy off. Just spewing lots of blood everywhere. Uh, and that should be victory, I believe, right? Hey, triumph! Outcome, an A rating. All right, total XP earned 40 experience. Sweet. Um, cool. I like this game. Survivors out there. Uh, I love asked if we found any survivors. Typical. We failed to save them again. Did you really think it would be that easy to wash the blood from your hands? You can't actually believe that saving people from the mort will make up for what happened two years ago. What happened two years ago? That's not... I... I didn't... Come. We should return to the nest. <laughs> Intrigue. What, she's, she's, she's got... She's got red in her ledger. Uh, skirmish. Engage the mort again on a previously completed battlefield. Skirmishes can be replayed as many times as you like to gain XP and items. Skirmish mass will change as you progress throughout the story. Skirmish. Oh, yeah. I can go back and, and do both of those levels again. Cool. I want to check that knife. Uh, ooh. Okay. So it's another kind of dagger. So Sarah uses daggers, Glenn uses a sword, and Luff uses a spear. Um, the daggers I have equipped have a might of three, accuracy of 80. Uh, the CX I got has a might of five, but the accuracy is only seven. Um, 7D, not seven. So they're a little less accurate, but they do more damage. Uh, cool option available to us. Um, yeah, this this definitely feels like it is in line with the the Fire Emblem sort of uh, turn-based strategy game. Uh, and I think I like it. Uh, like I said, I've seen less than stellar things about this, so I'm going to keep playing it and see if I hit a roadblock at some point. But so far, it seems pretty cool. Uh, it's a little dark. It's a little gloomy, a little self-serious. But the gameplay is pretty fast and snappy. Uh, and... Uh, and and I like that like the the combo ability like where you can join up with attacks. There's some cool stuff there. So yeah, I'm I'm interested to see more of it. Uh, again, this game's called uh, Redemption Reapers. Just came out on the Switch. 
a couple weeks ago. Uh, so if that sounds like it's up your alley, be sure to check it out. Uh, and be sure to check my stuff out all over the internet by looking for Troidal Power. You can go to troidalpower.com, patreon.com slash troidalpower. I'm on Twitter at Troidal Power. I'm on TikTok. I'm on YouTube. Actually, YouTube would be great if you listen to this and don't follow YouTube. Uh, occasionally, you can get video episodes uh, on YouTube, but it would just it would be a big help if you could follow me uh, there. And I'm on Twitch. And until next time, friends, tap in. Hope for the best. The Power Playthroughs podcast is part of the We Can Make This Work Probably podcast network and geek to geek media. Visit troidalpower.com to find more of my nonsense, links to both networks, and the Patreon where you can support the show.